Oh my goodness. Can I just say I'm such a fan of everything you've got going on? <laughs> you certainly can. Do you want an autograph or something? You're so funny. I don't get autographs. Do you want one? <laughs> I'm good. But how can I help you? I just see everything you're doing. In the ring, you're winning. You're awesome. Outside of the ring, movies, web shows, and that adorable captive audience thing. By the way, I totally got how the title was playing off your nickname. I don't think most people did, but I got it. Anyway, the one thing I think is missing from the whole Cap Charismatic universe is me. No offense, but I'm not really looking for a tag partner right now. Hmm. But are you looking for an assistant? You do have a lot going on and I'd be great at it. I can get you in and take you to all the best spots, snap pics with you on social media, go shopping with you. I mean, that's my specialty. Wow, that's a lot. But I do have a match in Japan coming up and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed juggling it all. But it's more work work than what you described. I'd be looking for someone who could help arrange travel, maybe do a little research on some guests for captive audience, answer some basic publicity requests and emails, that sort of stuff. Probably not your thing. Are you kidding me? I love buying plane tickets and digging up dirt on your guests. Sign me up. Plus, I'm on my phone all the time. Could this be more perfect? It would be great to have some help. I've got a match against Dakota Kai, and with all this on my plate, I've barely had time to get to the gym. Maybe it's worth a try. Yes, tell me what I can do. I'll give you a list and see what you can tackle. Oh, and I'm sorry, but I do have some ring gear at the dry cleaners, and it'd be great if you could grab that. So cliche. I love it. Send me everything, not a problem, and you get yourself to the gym, boss. the woman who dazzles in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Amanda Marie Davis. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. I can feel the ratings spiking. An absolutely cutthroat competitor. Here comes Dakota Kai, looking ready to assert her control. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. This is a woman who demands her place in the spotlight and has taken it by pure force. A woman who possesses incredible speed and toughness. And no shortage of animosity. 
That's a good thing. And coming into this matchup, there has been a fire burrowing inside of this superstar. Well, she certainly has the look of someone that's tired of being taken lightly, angry at the disrespect she's been shown. She'll be looking to take out all that anger throughout the course of this match. But she's facing the one dangerous superstar. Dakota Kai won't hesitate to stab you in the back. Friend or foe, if she thinks it'll get her what she wants, that deceitful ruthlessness makes her tough to contend with. That's a little harsh. I'd say Kai just has a defiant confidence. The courage to put herself first and look out for number one. What's important to her is winning matches, not making friends. Dakota's probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goats curse. Agonizing hole. Got to find a way out, and they do. Look at this. Oh, God. Was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. And this match will head back to the ring. Monday Night Raw, of course, the longest running weekly episodic television show in history. She just turned it around. Impact in the corner. A uh, slingshot forearm smash. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Pressure. Full court press being applied to Kai. This match is wearing her down. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Ah, oh, right to the back. A little back trample there, and I'm um, okay. I respect those moves. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. With the reversal! But she still has to do more to get this fully in her favor. Moonsault! Moonsault! For the victory here! And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Amanda Marie Davis! A tough loss for Dakota Kai here tonight. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Have such a great time in Japan. I'm feeling so good about this trip for you. Thanks. I have to admit, it was nice to fully focus on training. I felt better facing Dakota Kai than I have in a while. And I can't remember the last time I got to the airport this relaxed. Do you have my flight info? So glad to be of service. Flight info, fun wrinkle. Apparently, it's a whole different day in Japan right now. Who knew? Anyways. Time zones are really confusing, and your flight's not for another eight hours. But no worries. You're here now, and we have a car there to take you straight from the airport to the Japan Dome for your match. I don't even get to check into my hotel first? That's a long flight, Chelsea. There won't be any time for that. It's already tomorrow there. Crazy, right? Anyway, good news is I got you into the absolute best sushi restaurant in Tokyo after your match. You're welcome. I'm sure it'll be great, assuming I'm not too tired and can still eat solid foods. 
You're in luck. They have amazing soups. You'll love it. And since you'll be gone for a bit, I should totally have time to grab that dry cleaning before you get back. Thanks. And please do.
Taking her place at center stage, the true superstar, Cap. The following contest is a five-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Amanda Marie Davis. I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing. What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. Cap is ready for her close-up. Cora Jade is here. Jando stick in hand, ready for a fight. And her opponents, first from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. Get ready to see the toughness of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. Here comes Indy Hartwell, one of the toughest underdogs in the women's division. just 19 years old. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. Behold the modern day witch. Uh, that dawn gives me the creeps. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn! The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. Don't let all the theatrics distract you from the fact that Isla Dawn is as vicious as they come. No doubt about that, Cole. Expect no mercy from Dawn in this one.
<laughs> oh, here comes trouble. But also, here comes one of the top young talents from NXT. And from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. Jane is the multiple-time NXT Women's Tag Champion, co-holder of the longest reign in that title's history. And we are only seeing the start of J.C. Jane's dominance. Already so accomplished, I can't wait to see what JC does next. Well, you won't have to wait much longer, Cole. We've got some unexpected chaos as four women also scheduled to face Cap, who is expecting a singles match. Nice of WWE to change this to a battle royal, so no one has to go home disappointed. That still doesn't explain why Cap's in street clothes. Something's clearly off with her, and she better hope it doesn't carry over into the ring. Boom! Boot! Nice! Oh, God! But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Placed it in the corner. And Jade's caught with a reversal. Looks like that chip on Jane's shoulder may have just gotten knocked off. I am done. And now eliminated. there's an opening. We could have an elimination here. Letting up on the elimination. Possibly looking to re- Responds with a counter. Oh, knee smashing the face. Oh, leaping through the air. Oh, my God, a clothesline. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Look to her competition. Oh my, what a splash! Pinpoint swing of the leg. She's showing it's not a time to lie down. It's a time to fight back. Running knee lift. Trapped in the leg here. Oh, look at the torque on the spine. Camel clutch. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, still got to throw over the top rope. Quite the predicament for her here, but she's able to slip through and reverse the move. Big boot. Look at this, Byron. With your forehead, Sandra, draining all the energy out of the opposition. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Avoiding contact. Hip attack in the corner. Uh, pressing their foot right in her. It's got to hurt. Live here tonight from Monday Night Raw, the flagship brand of W. Here is your winner, Amanda Marie Davis. Love seeing her get the win. And it was a big match for her. She worked hard for this win, and now she gets to enjoy the payoff.
Absolutely. You love to see someone's determination come to fruition like this. So glad you're here. We never discussed my benefits package. PTO, 401k. Yeah, we'll get right on that. After we discuss how you and Tiffany totally screwed up and never canceled a single one of my opponents. You expected us to do that? I think Tiffany pretty clearly said you can cancel the one you don't need. Are you serious? You and your assistant, which is crazy by the way, but whatever, are supposed to be making my life easier, not making me look incompetent. I didn't even have my gear. It was still at the dry cleaners. Do you hear yourself right now? I really don't like this energy. You're coming in with a lot of attitude and totally talking to me like a subordinate. What's that about? You are a subordinate. Okay, that's it. These working conditions are unacceptable. My assistant and I are on strike. <laughs> oh, I'll strike you. That's what's gonna happen. Threatening striking workers with violence? Pretty sure that's legally protected, and beside that, not cool. But I don't think we have any other recourse than to teach you a lesson. In the ring. I'd tell you to name the time and place, but I'm fairly sure you'd find a way to screw that up. So how about we just say raw next week? I'll check with Tiffany to make sure that works for my schedule, but fine. A big time tag team match with major stakes on hand will have major ramifications on the tag division. Talk about surprises, it's capped with Stacey Keebler. And their opponents, Amanda Marie Davis and Stacey Keebler. Chelsea Green and Tiffany Stratton tried to take advantage of Cap, and she wasn't having it. Now, they're gonna deal with a WWE Hall of Famer. Who hasn't competed in ages? Respect to Stacey, but this is a whole different ball game. Will Cap recruiting Keebler pay off, or will ring rust be an issue here tonight?
These two former assistants used to roll calls, and now they're trying to roll their ex-boss. I'd expect executive-level chaos. But Caps relied on her Hollywood connections to recruit WWE Hall of Famer Stacey Keebler to join her enterprise. That's quite the merger. Let's see if there are more HR complaints or ER visits before this one's over. Drop kick. Beautiful. Chelsea must be phased after this string of action. Chelsea needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Oh! That's a good tag. Oh, right to the body. The communication between these two is evident by that move. And Chelsea Green's focus being tested there. Yeah, very motivated Stacy in front of us. Just never had a chance to block any of the... Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Uh, submission locked in. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Is she going to tap it? Able to shift her weight and escapes. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Punishing boot. Tag made. Tag made. Oh! One, two. the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. Look at this, Byron. Big your forehead, Sager, draining all the energy out of the opposition. Oh, my. Oh, slipped through and escaped. That was pretty. She saw that coming from Tiffany. Oh, it hits the mark. Looks like someone wants to shove Tiffany's silver spoon down her throat. Look at this, fire. Bigger forehead, Silver draining all the air. Oh, slipped through and escaped. That was pretty. <laughs> Made her pay for her mistake. Then here come the punches. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Big time blow. Well, she got her down. Is this it? Kick out. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Fez press. Just going all out with every blow. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Attack after attack on target. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, what a cross body. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. There's a tag. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. <sighs> Stacy gets her back. <laughs> Devastating kick. Such an underhanded tactic there. She's on her last legs here. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. She's able to make it. Running knee lift.
Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. Saw that coming. Bullseye with the drop kick. Sends her to the outside. What is she thinking here? No! Wrecking ball! Drop kick. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Boom! She throws her back in. Catching a drop kick. Back into the ring. Both knees into the face. Running knee lift. Oh my goodness! Kick to the spine. A little back trample there. And, um, okay, I respect those moves. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, vicious knee to the face. Ooh, what a forearm club. Nasty knee. Chelsea just can't stop this attack. Green has to find a way to right the ship here. Look at that insult to injury with that one. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Uh, pressing their foot right in our gut. That's got to hurt. Chelsea's out of it, completely in peril. Perched on the shoulders. Oh, feast your eyes. That could end Chelsea's night. Cover. Maybe not. The breakup. Trapped in the leg here. Oh, look at the toe. Campbell clutch. The submission is locked in. Tap deep. out coming. It's tap over. out coming. Big time win in this tag team match. Here are your winners. Stacy Keebler and Amanda Marie Davis. Two great superstars that go great together. And that win is proof. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders.